We are in Jerusalem, Israel. Join us as we study end time Bible prophecy. We are here in the city of David. This is the original Jerusalem. This area, Israel, modern Israel, Judaism, is preparing something in this area. You can see here we have the Mount of Olives, the Kidron Valley, the village of Silwan. We know our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was right in this area. Many believe that this here is where the temples were built. Below us, as we said, is the Gihon Spring is below us. You can see these ancient ruins from thousands of years ago. Now in this direction here, right here, is the Temple Mount. We are about 200 yards from the Temple Mount Dome of the Rock area. This area is very significant in end time Bible prophecy and we are seeing they are preparing something here. They are preparing, many people are saying a third temple is coming. They have all the preparations in place and as we said they've already begun to sacrifice animals. These are the end times. We must prepare the Antichrist, the beast, the abomination of desolation is coming. Let us believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. We are saved through faith in the Son of God, Jesus Christ. He is returning with power and glory. As you can see, the Mount of Olives. This is the prophecy, the return of Jesus Christ. Blessings from Jerusalem, Israel. This is a very special location here in Jerusalem, Israel. This area where we are now is not open to the public. This is said to be the location of the first temple and the second temple. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ many years ago walked in this very area and we know He will again when He returns. People who practice Judaism have begun to sacrifice animals and call for the building of a third temple. In the book of Daniel, we read, chapter 9, verse 27, And he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week, and in the midst of the week he shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease. And for the overspreading of abominations, he shall make it desolate, even until the consummation and that determined shall be poured upon the desolate. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ said in Matthew chapter 24, verse 15, when ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet stand in the holy place, whoso readeth, let him understand. In 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, beginning at verse 3, let no man deceive you. By any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is is God. In the book of Revelation, chapter 13, 
beginning at verse 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. We are here at the Temple Mount, the Dome of the Rock. In tradition, this is said to be where God took the dust of the earth and made man, where Abraham was to sacrifice Isaac, and where the first and second temple stood. Many believe this is the location where the third temple will be built. This is the most contested piece of land on earth. For sure, this will be part of end time Bible prophecy. We are here at the Western Wall. We know that the beast, the man of sin, the son of perdition, the Antichrist will be in this area. We are now in the city of David. Many people believe that this is where the third temple may be built. We are above the Gihon Spring. Let us read from Revelation chapter 13, beginning at verse 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. 
and he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred, three score, and six. Welcome to the Pool of Siloam, the Gihon Spring. This is where Solomon was anointed king. This is the location of John chapter 9, where our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, healed the blind man. Join us as we walk the water tunnels underneath the city of Jerusalem. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, He is returning with power and glory. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved.